Morning guys, it's about 7 a.m. I, I'll be honest, I tried to get up earlier at like 3. And uh, I couldn't even walk around, I was so tired, so I went back to sleep. So, here we are. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, today's video is going to be a bunch of time lapse of demolition and disassembly. So, sit back, relax and we'll get this uh, rusty build underway. <coughs> All right, I got the uh, back part of the storage uh, van cleared out, but I came outside here to start working on the undercarriage. Now, this, this part's solid. The actual frame of the vehicle's solid, but <clears throat> all the stuff where they built the box it's totally trashed. It's gone. It's got holes going through it from rust. The back one's missing. It was rusted out so bad. So, that definitely uh, makes the uh, plans change. I am going to chop this entire thing into pieces all the way down to the frame. So the only thing left will be this giant I-beam. And... Uh, I guess we'll just go from there at that point. I'll have to buy some uh, square tube steel and uh, redesign this whole structure. I'm not willing to spend hours and hours of time dealing with uh, rust like this on old Rusty. I knew he was rusty, but at this point it's time to just cut our losses and move forward with a uh, different cab design. Um, and like I said, the undercarriage is fine. It just needs to be stripped down and painted and rust protected. but. Uh, and the axles are all good and the tires they they can always be replaced. That's easy They're just trailer tires and they're only like 25 bucks a piece. It's not a big deal, but at this point we're gonna uh, salvage the uh, back part of rusty and then um, I'll have to figure out what to do next because I always play it by ear So that's where we're at and we'll just keep continuing with the demo
immediately on the more troubling aspect of this report with respect to alcohol use and the anecdotal references of resistance by agency leadership to accepting advice or criticism about the fitness and readiness of individuals for space flight. Space, space flight. That took all day, but if you've never seen the inner workings of a uh, snow cat, this is basically what they look like. Everything on this is in really good shape, except for obviously all of the structure uh, square tube was rusted out. So you got your motor. It's a Ford 300 inline six carbureted. This one was used for grooming, I think, because it's got hydraulic pump and hydraulic lines and hydraulic filters everywhere. Here's your transmission, which runs to your drive shaft. It's got a parking brake, which is actually a disc, which is kind of neat. And then uh, here's another hydraulic filter. The differential sits way back here in this area. And uh, it's got uh, steering brakes on it. It's an open diff. And uh, everything in here, I mean, looks great. Just needs to be cleaned up. Need to paint the frame and then start doing uh, box design for the um, snow cat. I basically just left all the running gear in it and then we'll eventually have to take all these square tubes off. I left them on there just to hold the frame within its specs and then we'll redesign the box.